Hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening. Last time we began on this desert chapter and got introduced to two brand new characters, Naoi and Gregor, who seem like they're in a little bit of uh, a bad place right now. Um, they're kind of cornered on all sides, which, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of. So we want to try and help them and get them out of this situation. Before we do that, let's deal with a couple of enemies we have uh, right now. So we have this guy over here. He, you know... I may, I may want to just go in with the Dying Blaze. It does the most damage, but I think Pan might help me. So I'm going to go for the 18 with the fire, the 100% chance. Hopefully that will work out. If not, well, I'm not having a great day then in that case. Go on, Pan. Yes, we go. Finish it off. Bite that man. Good. They make a good team, I think. Doing pretty well, Muriel and Pan there. And uh, Cordelia, I'm going to get to... You know what? I'm going to get her to go over here and attack from this distance and the next turn she can just pick up the village set all that into motion or at least just pick up the item that we need at the very least okay and she's up to 12 as well so her and Sumia the two Pegasus riders or should I say Pegasus knights are uh, looking in pretty good form I'll say that for certain okay uh, I think maybe we should get Rickon to finish things off, but what I will do first is get the staff heal on the go, unless I'm thinking hmm, hmm it's kind of a tough situation okay, I'm going to go in here with Sumia no, I'm not I'm changing my mind, I'm just going to go with Rickon, I'm going to attack with the Elwind but I am going to move him a little bit closer and uh, do that and then I'll get Lissa to dive in, get the heal off, and then we'll start moving Krom and uh, Sumia over to a different area to try and help out some other people. No, I don't want to rescue you, I want to heal you. There we go. Now we're in a better place. Okay, I'm going to start moving these guys over here so that we can uh, start to help things out on this front. But uh, for the moment, we're going to attack with Naoi. As you can see, she has ranged attacks. I wonder what that means. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out what all this talk of mana cats is about. Get away from me! Woo! Yes, ladies and gentlemen. What in blazes? The girl is a dragon? <clears throat> By the gods, she's a mana cat. I never thought I'd see one. Wow. Hmm. Perhaps she doesn't need our help so much as we could use hers. <sighs> yes, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Naoi is a mana cat. A recurring uh, race in the Fire Emblem series. Which means that she can turn into a damn dragon. Holy crap. That's so cool. Don't you think? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it freaking is. She's a dragon. It's great. It is pretty freaking fantastic. All right, well, we look like we're getting attacked on almost all fronts here. So we're going to be uh, wanting to try and get away if we can uh, and try and help people out. So uh, let's start diving in here. The, the most dangerous units on the enemy's team uh, in terms of movement are, of course, their magic units, so these Dark Magicians. Uh, if we kind of cap these guys, then we'll know what ranges are only the magic people are going to be moving into. So we can see where we can save ourselves and where we're going to be okay. I'm going to move Naoi out of there for the moment. Oh, that didn't just happen, did it? God, that's really annoying. I hate that. Because basically they were in the way, so they were stopping some part of the movement. And then they move out to a safe space, but it turns out it's not actually a safe space anyway. Which is silly. That's a little bit silly. Oh well. Matters not. You know what? I am going to place Sumia over here. And have her equip the Javelin. So that she's ready to take on one of those Dark Mages. And I think similarly, I'm going to bring Rickon down into this area and wait um, and then you know what let's get let's get MBZ start moving over as well and uh, I'm gonna switch over to MBZ there uh, Muriel you know what you can 
You can pop in here to provide some support. Let's wait. And of course, Cordelia, let's visit that village and see what we have. God praise ye, good people. God praise ye, one and all. We live in a constant fear of what the criminal will do to us. So he does. Here, take this staff with me blessings. It can fetch distant comrades to safety. Be sure to place it in the hands of one gifted in spells or the like. Magic four will be able to reach the farthest with it. And of course, what he's describing is a rescue wand, one of which we already possess. Uh, Lissa has one active, so there you go. In any case, we're going to get assaulted again with Naoi by this dark mage. But dodge out the way and throw a ball of uh, energy, ether, dragon flame, whatever you want to call it, right in the face. Um, certainly helpful. Tell you what. Rickon not being able to dodge out the way, but uh, doing an okay job standing up to that dark mage. It's not too shabby. And uh, now, wow, everyone is starting to uh, kind of encroach on us, so we've got to be careful here. Uh, let's have a look. Alright, well Cordelia is free now to move and attack someone, so that's going to be a help. Uh, same with Avi, we now can uh, go down here and attack with her. You know what, I'm going to get her to attack... God, I should go. I'm not sure if I should or not go bother with Katarina's ball. But I think I might do. Mm. Mm. Alright, to begin with, uh, I can get Muriel to just get rid of this axe guy. Yeah, let's do that. Let's use fire. Just throw the axe guy away. Because he can do some horrible damage if we just let him, let him in. We most certainly don't want that to happen. So I'll get him out of the way. Which is up a level, nice. To 12 with her, too. She's not doing too shabbily. Uh, then... I guess I'll get Naoi to attack. We could alternatively switch up to Gregor here, because once this magic unit is out the way, then we will have a physical person to take on the rest of the physical units that we have. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch to Gregor, and let's see him in action. He does 18 with the Steel Sword, so that's not too bad, and that will indeed finish off this Dark Mage. So let's let him wreak the havoc that he so desperately wants to. Strike down. Who wants more Gregor? Everyone! Everyone wants more Gregor! Gregor is clearly best character in game. Do you not realize? Clearly, Gregor is best character in game. He is much very, very loved by everyone. Clearly. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna... Uh, I'm kind of tossing up the possibility here whether I should go in um, to try and take down this horseman or whether I should uh, switch things up. You know what I might do is I might switch to Callum and... Uh, yeah, do that. I think that's probably a better idea because once uh, this dark mage is out of the way, then we have more physical units to deal with, which is what Callum is more adept at doing. So I will do that. You yeah, you two together can take him. Most excellently. Stealthy. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm telling you, Callum, you are a stealthy man. Not many people would think so looking at you, but no one seems to see you anywhere, so kind of living up to that. Kind of living up to that reputation, one might say. Oh man, that's perfect. Javelin, 14 times 2. Cordelia, she has this on lockdown. Let's throw those. Spears through the air. Over already? Yeah, it is. You're too quick, too fast, too furious. Um, you know what? Ephraim's Pike here. Do the business. And we get the shiny space. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go with Ephraim's Pike. I've got you. Take him down. Now there is a 42% chance for this guy to retaliate, but Krom is not going to let that happen. That was Swooping in to Sumia's aid. They do have a nice little relationship going on. Unfortunately, they can't be married in this playthrough, but um, uh, you know what? It's always nice to, to see their conversation. So I'm going to try and get those uh, sorted as well as we play through the game. Um, let's see, uh, okay, if I'm standing next to Gregor there as well, then that actually boosts my chances to 80 of actually getting this, the hit off, so I might just do that, 
Katarina's bolt. God, it's so close. 25. If I go, I, I can't reach down to Grom. Ah. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Let's use Katarina's bolt. Just do it. Kabam. It's pretty broken. It's pretty brutal. That's what we'd like to see in Fire Emblem. So, uh, so there you have it. I've got your back. Yes, indeed. Ooh. A little bit of a nab there. Nothing, uh, something you can't deal with with a couple of pikes to this man's sights, his eyes, <laughs> his face, his everything. Just watch me go. All right, Rickon. I want to watch you go, but that means you're going to have to help Callum out here. You can't take him down with single hit. So go on, throw some wind. No? Doesn't want us to throw some wind? I'll tell you what, these, these guys want to try and do everything. Never end up being able to. All right. Let's go with the Iron Lance. Finish this dude off. And uh, hopefully get to the village before that stupid axe man tries and destroys it. There's a little bit of my fear here. I'm not sure when it or how he's going to move, if it's going to be possible for him to at all, but uh, we shall see. Alright. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch over to Naoi so that we have better movement next turn there. And I could have just traded. I should have done that. Could have just traded there. And I'm actually going to switch up here as well and get the heal on the go. There's a little bit of helpfulness, that heal. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Alternatively, I could trade, take the steel lance from her, but I'm I'm gonna I don't need that for right now. I don't need that right now. Let's go over here with Sumia, and she should get relief anyway to boost her health. So everything should work out, hopefully. Okay, let's go over here, and I'm gonna switch over to Chrom actually. Switch over to Chrome attack with the Falcon twice, and that leaves open room to enter the village with Rickon and Callum. If they are on point, they are able to move that far. I don't think they will be though, because Callum is the one who's going to get the movement because he's currently front and center. So as you can see, not quite. I'm going to switch up to Rickon there and wait. Um, I'll throw Cordelia over there to help support. Why not? That could be useful. And I think we are getting very close to finishing this map. So hurrah! Excellente. Oh man, going after Cordelia with Elwind. Ooh, very lucky to be dodging out the way there. And finally, Vike's actually helping out. That was something. Yeah, it was. Like, Vike helping Cordelia? Some craziness is happening right now, I'll tell you. All right, Reckon, enter the village as you were supposed to do. You have our thanks for the warning. Please take this. It's my family's treasure. I would offer more if only I could. A fellow with enough experience could use it to grow even stronger. Another master seal to add to our collection. Excellent. We are very slowly uh, mounting up all the items we need to uh, eventually promote our units, which is uh, ultimately what we kind of want in the end. So uh, that's good. Let's give Chroma heal. Just a little one. Doesn't need too much. I really should get Lissa Remend at some point soon. I'm not sure if I can buy them yet. So uh, I want to make sure that's something I have at my, uh, uh, my back and call, my availability. So heal up Rickin. And uh, Sumi will be able to heal herself uh, if I switch over to her with Chrom. Nice, up to 13. A bad level up for her. Had the same thing happen with Maribel last map, but... Uh, Oh well, so be it. All right, uh, we have, what do we have? Well, we have one more shiny spot to get to make sure we kill all these enemies and get to that village before we kill the boss. So let's prime ourselves uh, and this turn, let's try and go in for the kill or as close to the kill as we can get. I'm gonna go over here and uh, switch over to Gregor, try and bait out that uh, ax guy. And I'll keep everyone else on the sidelines. I guess I could give Sumi a heal. Might as well help her experience gain. And I'm, you know what? I'm going to get Cordelia to pop... Uh, 
Yeah, I can get Cordelia to go over there. So that she's going after the village. And with a javelin in hand, she should be able to take on both of those dark mages. We should be good there. Okay. Alright. But um but um but um This is what I wanted. A dragon and a knight facing down an axe guy who can actually hit a 36% chance. Are you serious, game? That's not fair. Then again, when is Fire Emblem ever fair? Let's just let's be honest here. I think I think never is a, a good shout. Definitely. <laughs> Okay, and one more Dark Mage hopefully running against us. Yes, indeed. Oh shit, this one has an Elwind. Ooh, and there we go. Those are the consequences. It would have been real nice if you got that last time, Cordelia, but... Again, Fire Emblem logic prevails. Pre prevails, prevails, should I say. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, excellent, a nice little uh, relief there for her. And final village, what are we going to get? Really? You protect the village, this little dung heap? Goodness, you're kind. I suppose I should give you a little something, eh? Here, something with enough experience could use this to start a life. It's like running off to join a circus troupe. More classy-like. And we get a second seal from that village. So we really are starting to... Uh, move into all of this reclassing stuff. We're getting close, guys, you know. Uh, units are nearing level 20, and uh, we're going to have to do something about that. Let's uh, let's switch over Naui and uh, attack this guy as a dragon, because why not? Looks looks so cool. I'm a big fan of it. And uh, in style, things are ended. And a level up for her, so she's up to 4 now. Yeah, she does uh, join you as a really low level unit, but as you can see, she's still holding her own in this map. I tell you what, she has quite a good amount of power that she's packing um, behind that little shell of hers. So I'm going to switch over to Pan and give Pan a bit of action, because she really hasn't had any this map, apart from being Muriel's sidekick and going in there for the extra bonus attack. Um, Muriel isn't going to help her out, it seems in her endeavors, but no matter. Rickon can finish the job. I'll go with the thunder this time. Excellent. And a level up for him, good. It's up to 12. Yeah, it does seem like a lot of our units are hovering around the 12 area. It's a good place to be. It's a good place to be at this point in the game. I'll say that. Chuck a couple of javelins. Still not enough to take this guy down. Sumia's strength is uh, a little bit embarrassing, I have to say. But when she's paired with Krom, yeah, you you will get the next one, honey. Don't worry about it. Just just let just let Krom do all the work here. <laughs> oh dear. And she gets a nice little 10 XP as well, as well as a killing edge. Well, I know a certain Myrmidon who would be very appreciative of that. Uh, definitely. All right. Well, with all that said and done, Cordelia getting more relief health. Uh, seems like we are good. We, uh, we've approached all the villages and opened all of them. Uh, we have um, we have everyone set and ready to go. Uh, let's approach the boss, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go there. Over here. Moving, and you can go there. Just want everyone in position, really. That'll do. Okay. Um, I just realised. I I did. I think I said this before when I was talking about relief. It's not being away from enemy units. It's being away from any units. So if there are no units within three spaces, you restore twenty percent of HP. That's why Sumia wasn't getting the the boost when I thought she should be because she was actually in range of her own units. So there you go. Just clearing that up a little bit. Um, okay. Well, a solid thirteen times two. On this guy, the problem is that he's going to do 16 with Nosferatu. Now, if you don't know, Nosferatu is a very uh, significant spell because it is going to take damage back 
um, from uh, what it deals. So basically this guy, uh, when he does 16 damage, he will heal some of his HP back, half of it to be exact. And um, that means that uh, Pan isn't going to do as much damage as we'd like her to, but I think damage is damage and I would like her to get a little bit of experience. So I'm going to go for it anyway uh, and see what happens. We can come in and uh, clean up with the other guys. Yaha! You dare defy Grima, god of annihilation? Well, yes, I do, actually. I defy him greatly. Nice. Uh, slice. Ooh! And we're getting hit with Muriel. But, um, as you can tell there, the HP healed means that uh, can live another turn. I think we are going to go out here in style and get Naoi to clean off this uh, final boss from the map. What do you say? Using a dragon? Let's train her. Blast! Kaboom! Master Grima, my life force is yours! Ooh, so close to leveling up there as well. Kinda surprised that she didn't. She's level 4 and everything. So. There we have it. Stage complete. This is just the worst day ever! <laughs> Good grieving. Oh no, we won. Do not make with the crying of tears. The evil people are now dead people. This is good, no? You, you're right. Th thank you. And I'm sorry I was so mean to you earlier. I just get nervous around people who are outside my age group. What? Your age group? Huh. Gregor much closer to your age than others here. Listen. Say, um, Gregor, was it? Gregor. Do you mind looking after her? We need to press on. Hmm. Gregor is mercenary, yes. Maybe you hire Gregor instead. True, Gregor just finished killing former employers, but still very reliable. So long as you not try to hurt the little girl, Gregor will not hurt you. Also, Gregor needs steady income. Many angry former employers. Really? You're a sellsword? <laughs> yes, very sellsword. Cost performance very high. You have Gregor's world. Right. Sure, why not? You're hired. But, but what about me? I won't go back onto the auction block. Huh? Wait, you've been sold? Like, uh, like a slave? To men more despicable than you can possibly imagine. They forced me to transform. They drank, laughed, and made me do tricks. What kind of scumbags buy and sell a little girl? Even if she can turn into a dragon. No. She may be little, my lady, but not nearly so young as you might think. Manikets live a very long time. Huh? Really? How old are you? Huh? Uh, I don't know. A thousand something? But look, no wrinkles. Well. The Dragon King is said to be more resilient than men. You witnessed the girl's abilities yourself. Small wonder the Grimliel were after her. Huh? Beg pardon? But who are the Grimliel? Ah. Followers of the fell dragon Grima. The self-stained dragon the first exile defeated a thousand years ago. Even today, there are some who yearn for the fiend's return. I see. Listen. Well, shall we get to some rest? We're almost to the Pelagian capital. We'll need all the strength soon enough. We shall take our rest indeed, and by that I mean ending the video, and indeed the chapter. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Fire Emblem. If you could leave a like on this video, I would be really appreciative. If we can hit 150 likes, that would signal to me that uh, you guys are enjoying the ride. So do go ahead and do that if you can, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, thank you for watching, goodbye.